Jack, plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite Alburo movie, it died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! Whatever your interest, We've got the medallion for Jewel. Don't so forget. So Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real friend. The youngest state congressman ever to be elected by a vice city, and now a respected man. for the land, fast man. Says things that make you nod your head. His campaign appealed to the wealthy because he set all of us at ease by finally confirming it's okay to be rich as long as you say you care about the children. Mr. Shrub, welcome. That's not entirely true, Maurice. My campaign also appealed to the poor, who are too stupid to understand what I'm saying. So I held up pretty pictures and I gave out candy bars to appeal to their most base instincts. But thanks, Maurice. I'm glad to be given this opportunity to set the record straight. I haven't given you any opportunity yet, my heartless friend. Let me introduce my other guest first. I hope this isn't gonna get... ...a city more than... Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! Got it! Hit for Diaz as fast as you can! Eat it! Eat it! Sleep with the fish! Anyway, our next guest is from the opposite end of the political spectrum. A man so wet, he looks like he just stepped out of the shower. Peace Corps activist, hippie concert taper, founder of the group Speaking for the Underdog. He is fluent in seven languages and studied the harp in Peru, Callum Grayshaw. Hi, Maurice. Hola. Buenos dias and noches. Bonjour and buongiorno. Welcome in. Speak to English. Most of us struggle enough with that. Welcome to First Nations. And lastly, we have a man with a novel solution to the problems of public safety in Mexico. A solution so stupid, I cannot bring myself to explain it for you. Yet like breakdancing, it is sadly catching up. A man who appears on this fine show because our previous know-it-all panelist was carjacked and is now at home arming himself to the deep. I give you oh, John... Oh, you want some of this? So, before we get started, gentlemen, let me remind you of the rules of engagement. Here on Pressing Issues, the number one rated show on public radio in the Vice City area and hosted by me, Maurice Chavez, Pressing Issues is about free speech, not feeding each other hemlock, literally or metaphorically. Hey, my daddy used to grow that stuff in the backwoods of Missouri. hoo I tell you what. Yes, thank Good shooting, my friend. You're a real, proper, grade-A lunatic! Well, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. 